And then every now and then during the week, you just have these little triggers of thoughts and you know, when you're sitting in the shower or whatever and you go, sitting, you don't sit in the shower. All right, so planning a video. Now, this is using agile methodologies to break down your project into uh, chunks that you can then deliver on. Now, the first thing you do when you're thinking about your new video is you often think of it in a linear sense. You think of it from the start of the video, how it all plans out to the end of the video. All right, so I'm using Trello here. So I'm gonna create a new board. I'm gonna call it example. Try and spell it right. Now, first thing we're gonna do is gonna create an A-roll column. Now, this is essentially is what your, your content is. A rolls, A roll. And then I'll create a, a B roll column as well because what'll happen is as I do that, I'm gonna start thinking about what I want as B roll. Now, I'm also gonna then put columns for each of the cameras that I have. So I've got my 5D, which is you. I've got my GoPro and I've got my Mavic. They're my sort of three main cameras. Um, essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna, there's always a teaser at the start of a video, but you don't put that in here because you end up finding what that, you don't know what that teaser is gonna be until you've recorded. Let's say I'm doing a video on how to use precision landing on a Mavic Pro. So I'm gonna basically start with uh, an intro and then we're gonna go to maybe a little bit of B-roll uh, and then I'm gonna say uh, setting up Mavic. Yeah, just put it on the ground and stuff like that. Uh, and then I'm gonna say something like, um, this is how you take off. I'm not gonna write an essay here. Like, generally, you're talking about dialogue. You don't have to write everything. You just, it's just enough to trigger you so you know what you're gonna say. And then at the same time, I'm thinking, okay, well, I need a shot of the remote control. I need uh, Mavic taking off me. And then what else have we got? Um, I want to then show B-roll flying around, uh, return to home. So this is just B-roll, that's a bit of B-roll. This is actual content. So this is where I'm actually talking about something. I'm saying, okay, this is how you set it up. This is what you need to do when you take off. Then we just do some flying around. Now within that, I'm gonna go, well, I need to show the remote control when I'm when I'm using it. I need to show that. I need to show the app as well. So I'll go app while taking off. Now, so then I go, ah, right. So now I also need to take a screenshot of the iPhone. See, and that's the whole point. You're triggering these thoughts. You're going and going, ah, I, need, I was thinking just those three cameras, but I actually need to remember to, to take a screenshot or turn on the screen recording when I take off. Right, so then I've got that. So that's kind of, this is, this is my content. This is sort of what I'm gonna present in the video. And this is then anything that is non-content, sort of all the B-roll I need to get. Right, now remote control, I'm gonna get that on this one. So remote control, remote control, landing, flying. So that's from you know, a distance. GoPro, um, maybe I'll just put one on the ground near landing, taking off. Now obviously, I, now these, I put these in order of how I'm going to shoot them. So this is in, in your, your videos in linear, uh, and your B-rolls are all in a linear order. And then each of your columns are all in a linear order. Now it doesn't mean you're gonna shoot them that way. You'll probably shoot all the 5D stuff at one stage and then shoot all the GoPro stuff at another stage. Then the actual film out of the Mavic is just going to be uh, taking off, landing, etc. So it's all pretty much the same, same sort of content, you know, but um, this is where I'm gonna get, I need to make sure then I get B-roll around the location, because I know that I want B-roll. Like I've set up here, I wanna get some B-roll, I wanna get some B-roll flying around. So I need to make sure that when I'm flying the Mavic, I remember to get that B-roll. And then I go, well, you know what? The Mavic's got a camera on it, I may as well use that as well. So shoot. Uh, me flying, 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 flying Mavic. Ah, you know what, I'm gonna go, I'll use point of view for that. See, 
is the whole point is that it's triggering those thoughts you're kind of going ah oh, that's yeah of course that will that will that will work really well uh taking off and then landing as well actually i'm going to say landing pointing towards me. just gives a little more context gopro's not much in this shot now this one i also need to remember starting up mavic i can't remember what it's called precision landing or something i can't remember hitting return to home right i think that's about it now so the point of this is i'm then looking at each of the columns individually and going okay well i need to make sure now this is not the best example because it's kind of happens in a linear sense anyway you kind of each of those is, is i'll probably set each of those up and then just fire them all off at once and record all at the same time so it's kind of you know it's not, not the perfect example but as another example was my intro video now here so what I did was I thought about what I wanted to have in my intro. So I spent probably, is it getting dark in here? I think it's getting dark in here. I'm gonna turn it some lights on. Is that better or is that worse? It's a little bit lighter. I might show my pool patch. Is that better? That looks a bit funky. All right, now the thing about your A column is that I wrote that over like a week. So I wrote the first sort of lines and which similar to that other one whereas it was just a one-liner about you know what i wanted that subject what i wanted that little section of the video to be from there during the week i'd sort of think oh you know what what would sound really good is if i said blah 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 right so then you'd start to expand on that and then every now and then during the week you just have these little triggers of thoughts and you know when you're sitting in the shower or whatever and you go sitting you don't sit in the shower um but you then have those thoughts and you go, ah, oh, you know what, that, that actually makes more sense if I say it like this. So you're constantly evolving this, um, this dialogue and you know, what the video is about. And you're also then triggering thoughts about what you want to do as far as what your B-roll looks like. So you might go, you know, initially I wasn't, didn't even know where I wanted to go. And then I sort of had a thought, well, I could go down to Brow, that's a nice shot there. I'll go down first thing in the morning and then this is the amount of time I need, blah, blah, blah. So I thought, yeah, I'll get some GoPro stuff with the motorbike. Um, but then as I was doing this, I started thinking about you know, what I'm including in here. And a couple of things I wanted to include was about my past photography. And I thought, oh, what a big good B-roll is for me opening up the box and going through my old photos. So of course you think, okay, well that's, that's a, what I need to shoot here. And so I'll shoot that on the 5D, uh, but that's at home, which is then different to the stuff that I'm shooting on location. So then each of those particular um, columns is then filled out based off what I needed to, um, what I needed to shoot and then in the order I needed to shoot them. And, and in this particular um, example, it wasn't all just in, in one go like the other example I did. It was all sort of, you know, I could shoot them all separately. So then I knew all my Mavic shots I could do at once. And then all my 5D shots, I could do all of them at once. Um, but I'm doing them separately and doing them in their own chunks. Uh, and then I just sort of, at the same time, as I sort of spent time listening to the music and so on, finding the song I wanted to use, and then I could fill in the details here. And then of course, as you're doing that, you're then planning your kit that you need for the day. And then, so you have another column for your kit, the kit that you require. So I thought I knew I needed the Mavic, I knew I needed the 5D, make sure I take the microphones, etc. So then as you shoot stuff, you can then um, flag it as being done. So you know where you're up to. You know, if you have time to do that, you know, that's, that's just a nice to have. Uh, then as you're editing, you're then following that um, that timeline. So you've already got a plan, you know what you want to edit, you know, and you're just going through the list. You know, it's not a matter of trying to find oh, what shots have I got in there, what's, when you actually get everything and drag it into, into, um, and drag it into Premiere, you then kind of have everything laid out in a similar way, right? So then I've got all my, my A roll and my B roll, uh, and I've got everything laid out. So then when I'm going through each of them, I know exactly what's there and I can find what I want. Um, and it's also then related to the plan because it's all laid out that same way. But that's just one. Now also later on, I'll go into how you can do that in reverse where you've already shot something and you've got a whole bunch of content, but it's a big pile of mess and you want to all get organized. You can do this exact same thing, but in reverse. Um, so I'll do another video on that soon, um, which is perfect if you've done, well, like I did, I went to Bali and I shot like, I think I shot like 800 gig of content. Um, but it's just all this pile of muck, um, all 
you know, in folders of dates and cameras and all that sort of stuff, but I don't know what sort of content is there. And I don't know what sort of story lives in there. I know there's a story in there somewhere. I've just got to go through it all and have a look at it. And I thought, well, if I do this in reverse, the story will surface. So I'll look at that next time. Well, I'm using Trello, but I recommend whatever software you're using, if you use something that's mobile friendly as well, uh, is mobile accessible, because the amount of times you go, oh, that's a great idea. And then if you don't write it down, it disappears. Now, a few more videos I'm gonna do then track is my Mavic workflow uh, or drone workflow, can work on any drone, um, both for video and then a separate one for photos. Super Res uh, is, is something I've been experimenting a lot with on uh, this little puppy. And that's pretty much it, nice and easy. So uh, give us a like if you like that. Um, drop something in the comments if you've got any other suggestions, any other uh, ideas about how you could approach things. Uh, or even just tell me if you like it or not. If you don't like it, cool. Um, love to know why. That's about it. So thanks for dropping by and see you next time.